today I wear my Happy Mama shirt because I want to make a few Happy Mamas out of this video and improve the quality of living by reducing nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. Bonjour, welcome to La Clinique Molia, where we increase awareness and improve the quality of living. I'm Rachel. I'm a family nurse practitioner. I'm also a certified nurse midwife. And on this channel, we talk about mindful women's and maternal child health. Let's get to it. Number one, diet, diet, diet. So in this channel, we always bring us back to diet. In this case, is no different. So as it relates to nausea and vomiting in pregnancy, you wanna increase your meal. So you wanna have small, frequent meals. So however much you can tolerate, having a little bit, a couple bites at a time, but having frequent meal. So the, the key is going to be the frequency of the meal. So you want to avoid skipping meals and avoid the long gaps in between meals. Okay, so do not skip any meals um, if you're trying to reduce your nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. Okay, so you also want to increase your dry, easily digestible meals. Okay, so that's um, that's before your feet hits the floor. Okay, so I like to recommend having it right at the bedside before your feet hit the floor. Have crackers or pretzels, easily digestible snack before getting the day started. I'm going to avoid triggers, so that's including triggers in your food, triggers in the environment. You wanna remember that there's food aversions in pregnancy, so you're not gonna love your foods that you had and crave the same foods, and you're not gonna crave the same environment. So avoid the triggers that exacerbate or make the nausea and vomiting worse. With diet, we also can consider hydration and supplements as well, so magnesium supplements, Vitamin B6 supplements is a great first line treatment for nausea and vomiting in pregnancy, about three times per day, just around the clock. Of course, you're gonna check with your healthcare provider to ensure that's a treatment that's appropriate for you. And sometimes you add a sleep aid to it, Unisom, and to the vitamin B6 for a double whammy in helping um, to reduce nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. Remember, Unisom can make you drowsy or sleepy. Some people take it only at night, and some people can tolerate it during the day. You just have to know your body and definitely check with your healthcare provider. Hydration is going to be key, so staying hydrated is also going to help reduce nausea and vomiting, as contraindicated as it sounds, <laughs> but it will help. And I know you're like, okay, I can't even keep any down thing down. How am I going to keep down hydration? But it's going to be so important. So I like to spike my water. <laughs> spike your water in pregnancy with citrus, grapefruit, lemon, orange slices, you name it. And also mint leaves for that peppermint effect. Okay, and we'll talk more about peppermint um, in the next segment here, but coming up, but peppermint or having mint leaves to your water is a great way to spike the water and make it tolerable. And having citrus helps with nausea and vomiting as well. Ginger everything, okay? So ginger pieces from natural ginger root, ginger tea, ginger chews, ginger lollipops. <laughs> you can't get enough of ginger here. So ginger is gonna be a great, easy, natural method to addressing nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. Peppermint, everything. <laughs> peppermint, you can't get enough of peppermint either. So peppermint leaves, so the mint leaves in your water, or mint leaves in your beverages, peppermint candy, peppermint tea, peppermint essential oils, okay? So that essential oil leads me to my essential oil bit because I love, if you watch my other videos, you know how much I love essential oils. There's, I have an essential oil for every indication <laughs> and I never leave the house without at least two or three essential oils in my bag. But in this case, peppermint is an easy go-to for nausea and vomiting relief during pregnancy, very safe. You can put a drop on your fingers and put them in your temples. Sometimes I put it on the back of my neck um, also, you may want to put a drop on a cotton ball if you have sensitivities or if it's too potent. Other essential oils that are very helpful during nausea and vomiting and pregnancy include ginger, lemon, and chamomile. Okay, so give those a try. See which one um, resonates with you more and is more helpful. And those are some ways that you can apply it, but I like to use it. Speaking of citrus as it pertains to diet or adding that sour component to your diet, which helps um, relieve nausea and vomiting. We can't leave out Preggy Pops. This is a very easy, popular go-to on Amazon. If you don't go that route, you can even do sour candies as a substitute, but that's an easy go-to to help relieve nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. So pre-need a vitamin. 
Some of my clients find it very helpful to take a prenatal vitamin at night to help reduce symptoms of nausea and vomiting, okay, while you're sleeping. And I would recommend that before discontinuing the prenatal vitamin altogether. Some providers even recommend taking the, um, uh, substituting your prenatal vitamin for a gummy prenatal vitamin um, during the peak nausea and vomiting or until nausea and vomiting subsides. So that's another great uh, method to um, addressing the prenatal vitamin that may cause um, most clients to have nausea and vomiting instead of discontinuing it altogether, substituting, or taking it at night. Acupressure and acupuncture are two underused therapies that I love to recommend to my clients for nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. Okay, so acupressure, there's acupressure on the wrist, acupressure on the collarbone, okay, and you can apply pressure on the collarbone. I'll put a description in the box below. Or you can buy the acupressure band, C-band from Amazon. Um, acupuncture, going to an acupuncturist and getting acupuncture is another great way to address nausea and vomiting in pregnancy altogether. And a lot of my clients love acupuncture for this um, indication. So you have to know when to fold them. Every time on this <laughs> channel, we always remind us to know when to fold them because that's you, that means you're mindful and aware of yourself. You're mindful of how you're feeling. You're mindful of your limitations. You're communicating how you're feeling too, so you're not bottling in and holding in how you're feeling. So in this case, it's no different when nausea and vomiting becomes really severe and you're not, no longer able to tolerate it or the natural methods and therapies are no longer working. You're going to want to communicate that with your provider and they may prescribe some pharmacological measures. When it comes to the those measures, you want to be sure to take them as prescribed, taking the ones that are prescribed around the clock, taking them around the clock so you can anticipate nausea and vomiting and getting ahead of it. And then the ones that are used for the uh, you know onset, acute onset, then you want to take those acutely as prescribed again. So just being on top of um, taking those medications can help, again, when if it does call for more therapies other than the natural therapies. Lastly is the mind-body-spirit connection, as we always remind us about mindful living on this channel. Okay, so in this case, you want to be patient and gentle with yourself, pet yourself, remind yourself that this is a normal discomfort of pregnancy, remind yourself that your baby will take what he or she needs, okay, during this process and that what you're doing is enough, even if it's one or two bites, so you want to be patient and kind with yourself, whatever you can tolerate in that moment. Okay, another thing you could do are affirmations to help with uh, nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. This is one of my favorites, and it's really helpful. As within, so without. Okay, so your body is also, of course, hormonal when it comes to nausea and vomiting in pregnancy, but we want to address that any underlying emotional contribution to nausea and vomiting, and that's, again, that mind-body-spirit connection on this channel. Okay, so for nausea, we like to consider any fear, rejecting an idea or an experience. So think of maybe any fears you may be associating with the pregnancy or maybe motherhood or your baby or because it's a lot of unknown. And so having fears, not uncommon. So maybe address the fears that you have. Maybe journal, write out your feelings, write out what you're fearful of, um, and then allow yourself to release that fear and uh, embrace that all as well. So your affirmations, telling yourself that everything is working out, okay? So, or nausea can also mean rejecting an idea or an experience. So accept your pregnancy in the present moment. Accept that you're going to be a mom and that you're going to, you are enough, okay? I'm enough, okay? Remind yourself. So the affirmation, I am safe. I trust the process of life. To bring only good to me. Say it with me again. I am safe. I trust the process of life to bring only good to me. That does it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned at least one new thing that you can apply to nausea and vomiting pregnancy. If there's something that you benefited from that the rest of the community can, please leave a comment and share with us below. I'll see you on the next video. Au revoir.